Hey fellow Nevillers, I'm going to share some visions and dreams that Neville's attendees to his lectures have shared with him. I don't know whether you guys have had your visions and dreams or you remember them. I tend to not remember mine, except upon wake up and I'll share my personal dreams and visions somewhere else. These are the ones from Neville's lectures. This is from the same guy or the same man that shared the story of the barber and the massive promotion he got. Moving from fourth chair to first chair and then winning lots of trophies. So this guy that shared this story now shares this dream. My friend shared a dream which repeated itself the same night. He said, I saw a man who looked like a cartoonist concept of father time. Wearing a white robe, he was holding an open, gilt-edged book in one hand and a quill in the other, insisting that I was born on a certain day. I became equally forceful in stating that I was not. I knew my birthday to be 1927, 19th of September. Yet he persisted, regardless of my protest. Then I awoke. The 87th Psalm speaks not of a physical birth, but of a spiritual one, saying, The Lord records as he registers people, saying, This one was born there. My friend did the perfect job in challenging the recording angel for to sin by silence when we should protest, makes cowards of us all. And no coward can be in the Lord's stable of studs. I am convinced from the way he worded his letter that he has been born from above. He has had no other experience which would imply adumbrations, but this vision denotes the past not the present or future. He knew his physical birth date, yet that date was denied as the day he was born into the spirit world. For the man represented not the physical, but the spiritual world. You can see from this story that Neville shares from a letter from an attendee, the being born again symbolised by the book that was with a quill, that the guy in the white robe, or that angel, as Neville puts it so nicely, not the guy in the white robe, the recording angel, is trying to put the date in, and the guy that's having the dream says, no, 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 that's not my birthday. Anyhow, I find this fascinating, so stay tuned, my lovelies. I'll be sharing more dreams and visions and other delightful Neville nuggets. See you next time. Bye, guys.